The ability to share test steps is one of the most commonly requested new features, and with TestRail 7.0, it's finally here. In this short video, I'll break down the idea behind shared steps, the general purpose, and how to get started creating and using your own sets of shared test steps. The main purpose of shared test steps is to diminish duplication of work when creating test cases that feature the same step details, and to make updating the steps easier across multiple test cases that feature the same set of steps. Instead of having to manually update each test case containing those steps, you can now make a single change in one centralized location and have that propagate to all test cases using those steps. To manage test steps, a user needs to be assigned a role that has the permissions to add or edit test cases. There is not a separate permission that needs to be granted. There are two ways to get started creating a set of shared steps. You can create a new set of shared steps from scratch directly in the shared step repository, or you can share steps from within an existing defined test case. For now, let's take a look at creating an entirely new set of steps from scratch. To get started, Let's head to the Shared Steps repository by clicking the Shared Test Steps button at the top right of the test case list page. Here you can see we don't currently have any shared steps created in this project, so we'll click the Add Shared Test Step button. We'll need to name the set of steps, then fill in the testing information, including the step instructions and an expected result for each step you want to be included. Once done, save the set of steps and we can now import this to our test cases. Now let's take a look at how to share a set of steps that is already defined on a test case. First, we'll open the test case that includes the steps and go to the Edit page. From here, let's click the Share button below one of the steps and we'll see the Create Shared Steps dialog appear. We can check the boxes for each of the steps we want to include in this set which is useful if we only want to share selected steps from this case. Please note, when sharing steps this way, you can only select consecutive steps, so you wouldn't be able to create a set with steps one and three while omitting step two, for example. Once you've got the selection made, add a name for the set of steps and you're good to go. Now let's take a look at how to add a set of shared steps to a test case. We'll start with a brand new case. First, we'll want to make sure we're using the correct test case steps template and define all of the basic info for the test case. Now, after we click the option to add our first step, we can see the import button appear. So let's click that and we can select the set of steps we'd like to include in this case. For now, I'll just add this first set to my new test case. And now our test case could be ready to go. Or if we want to add further steps outside of the shared set, we can also do that. Now with our test case saved, we can see which steps are part of a shared step set with the little icon below the steps. Let's talk about editing our test cases with shared steps. If we want to edit the steps within a shared set, we will need to go to the shared steps repository and edit the steps within the set there. This will update the steps for all test cases that are currently using it, and we can see which test cases will be affected. If we try to edit a test case with the shared steps already included, you can see that we are unable to click into the fields because of the shared step set. So any changes must be done to the shared steps directly inside of the shared steps repository, not from within the test case. Before we wrap this video up, there are a couple of other small updates that were made to the separate steps functionality that I'd like to highlight. Both of these options are available to administrators in the Customization section of the Admin menu. Now you can customize the separate Steps case field to include two new additional data points, an entire extra text field with the label Additional Step Information, which can be used for any extra information beyond the step definition and expected result for each step. In addition, there is also a new option to add references to your individual test steps. This ties into the reference and defect tracker integrations. So if there are any specific steps of a test that would be associated with an external requirement, bug, or other entity, you can link an individual step to that entity in your external tool. These individual settings can be set up for the separate steps field either globally or on a project-by-project -project basis. 
That covers all of the basics of the new Shared Steps feature. Thanks for watching, and please don't hesitate to reach out to our team if you have any questions or feedback, and we'll be happy to help.